Hello, in today's video we're going to talk about the Lorentz curve and we're going to actually make a Lorentz curve based on some simplified data that we are given for four different countries. Before uh, we start that, I'll just uh, give you a little bit of um, information about the Lorentz curve and what it shows. Um, it, it's really a graphical representation of the distribution of income in a particular country. So uh, how is income distributed among its citizens? Always on the x-axis, you will see the percentage of the population. In our case, we're graphing, um, or, or our percentage of the population is uh, based on quintiles, or five groups. So we've got 20%, 40, 60, 80, and 100% of the population. On the y-axis, we've got proportion of income earned. So the total proportion of, uh, or the, sorry, the proportion of total income that is earned in a country. Uh, this left graph shows perfect equality. It shows that 20% of the country earns 20% of the country's income. 40% of the country earns 40% of country's income. 60% of the country, so 60% of people that are working, are earning 60% of country's income. And 80% of the country earn 80% of country's income. 100% of the country earns 100% of the country's income. So that's very evenly distributed graph. Everybody earns the same amount and we get a nice straight line. On the right side, we've got a perfect inequality graph, and it shows here 20% of the graph makes up 5% or so of the country's income. 40% of the country still makes up about 5% of the country's income. 6% of the, of the population, sorry, 60% of the population makes about 10% of the country's income. 8%, 80% of the population makes still about 10% of the country's income. So 80% of people, so most people in the country are earning very little compared to what the country has. And then the last quintile, the last 20%, so from 80 to 100, 20%, the highest earners in the country, they make almost all of the country's income from down here all the way to the 100%. So they're the ones that are earning all of it and leaving very little for the majority. So that is called perfect inequality. So most countries are somewhere in between these two extremes. So if I was to draw something on the left side, perhaps something like this or something like this is very reasonable to get. So the further you deviate from that straight line, the less equality there is in a country um, based on the income distribution. So we're going to look at some examples for countries in particular. Very simplified data. And we're going to try and see how their... Um, how their income is distributed. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, so the first thing, you're gonna be given this, um, this file. I'm going to copy the title, so the first two rows, Control C, Control V to copy. Um, our graph here shows percent of the population on in column A, and you can tell that it's based on 10%, so 10% um, of the population um, earns a certain amount. We don't want that, we want quintiles. Um, so instead of calling it percent of the population, I'll just call it quintiles. Instead of writing 20, 40, 60, 80, I'll write 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and 1.0. So these are my quintiles for each country. So that's great. So we're gonna make up our graph based on, on uh, this data here. But before we do that, we need to look at, okay, so the U.S., these are all of the earners, the 10%, 10% um, uh, of the people earn $10,000, another 10% earn 2,500, another 10% earn 12,500, and so on. The first thing that we want to do is we want to split or organize this data from lowest earners to highest earners. So I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to go to sort and filter, sort smallest to largest. And then I'm going to say, um, Continue with the current selection. You don't want to expand because then Excel is going to think that the other columns um, are associated with uh, the USA column. And we don't want that. They're all independent of each other. There we go. I'm going to do the exact same thing for Canada. Sort and select. Largest continue with the current selection. And there we go. That is our income distribution. Smallest to largest, which is great. I'll do it for every single country. There we go. Easy breezy. Very nice. Okay, and now the next thing that we want to do is we want to know what the total income is for um, each country because, of course, each of these um, 
quintiles that we're going to look at. And again, each quintile will be 20%. Uh, so this will be quintile one. If I highlight it, I'm just doing it for fun. This will be quintile two. Then we'll have quintile three, these two. And then we'll have quintile four. And I'll leave quintile five blank. So there we go. Those are all the quintiles. But we need to know what the total is, right? So the total will be equal to sum. And then bracket... And then I'm going to highlight all of the columns, so all of the cells in U.S. So it's $100,000, looks like, is the total earnings of U.S. We can do the same thing for Canada. A good thing about Excel is, is that it, it can follow a pattern. So I'm just going to drag the lower right button, and it's going to do the exact same formula. And you can take a look. It's doing it. Some C3 to C12. And that is all of the data for Canada. So that's good. All right, so that's the total income. I'm just going to make this, again, a different color, maybe bold it just so I know that this is my total. Um, make it gray. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to go back to this graph. This is my, my actual Lorenz curve. So for U.S., I want to go the first quintile. So that will be the um, these two gray areas. So I want to add them up. So I'll go to this cell here. So the cell that I'm in is K3, and I'm going to type my formula. It's going to be equal to bracket i want to add up those two um populations so that's b3 plus b4 so b3 plus b4 uh, and that is that quintile and then i'm going to divide it by the total earnings of the states and what is that total income of united states uh so that's going to be divided by uh the total income is in cell b13 fantastic that's it you're done the next cell, uh, I'm going to do next quintile. So that would be the blue earners here. So B5 and B6. So let me go back to that cell. So now I'm in cell K4. I'm going to say equals bracket B5 plus B6. B6 plus B5 doesn't really matter. And then divide it by the total, B13. But now the trick here is it's because it's cumulative, I have to add the quintile from before, which would be plus K3. So the quintile that, you just, that I just solved, I have to add that to my running, um, my running uh, percentage of the population. Next one, the third quintile would be uh, the green one here, which is cells B7 and B8. So it's going to be equals bracket B7 plus B8 and bracket divided by, again, total of the United States income, which is B13, plus the... Um, what the total earnings were from quintile before, which was in cell K4. Awesome. Finally, fourth quintile is B9 and B10. So equals bracket B9 plus B10 and bracket divided by B13, which is the total earnings. And then again, it's cumulative. So I got to add the quintile before, which is K5. There we go. Awesome. Finally, the last quintile, the top earners in the states are in uh, cell B10, sorry, B11 plus B12 divided by B13 is the total income. And then plus the, the, uh, the percent of income from the quintile before, which is in cell K6. Awesome. There we go. So that's it. So the beauty about this is now I can highlight all of this data that I got from the states. And because I put everything as a formula, B3 plus B4 divided by B13, uh, the, the beauty about Excel is that it's actually going to carry that to the next column. Uh, and because I've got my Canada data in the next row, uh, or sorry, in the next column, Excel is going to pick up on that. So you can tell if I highlight this sheet, the formula is C3 plus C4 divided by C13 and so on. So that all makes sense, which is fantastic. Okay, so this is really the data that we want to now graph because, you know, from just looking at this, I mean, if you just were, were to look at this, somebody told you that this is a Lorentz curve, you probably wouldn't really be impressed because it's just a bunch of random numbers. Now let's also add a column for perfect equality. The perfect equality column, um, I'm going to say wrap text here, is the one that has the exact same values as the quintile. So every, every sector of the population earns the same total of country's income. So uh, that's what's going to make that straight line graph. So, all right, that's it. We're done. We're going to highlight this entire block of information. And then we're going to say insert. And then we're going to say recommended charts. It's a scatter plot that we really want. And let's see what Excel shows us. Look at these beautiful charts that Excel can make out of this. 
um, we're looking for the Lorenz curve, which is this scatter plot or a line chart. And uh, beautiful, we're going to select this guy right here. And we now have our awesome Lorenz curve. I am going to add some chart elements. I always like having my X axis and Y axis written so or, or um, uh, labeled. So I'm going to go under axis titles, primary horizontal. So there we go. And then I'm going to do the same thing, axis titles, primary vertical. Awesome. On the X axis, we'll have percent of population. Population, and then on the Y axis, we have proportion, proportion of total income. And uh, oh, I don't want to have all the data added here. There we go. And the chart title is Lorenz curve. You can try and be um, try and be uh, a little more detailed if you want, and then um, uh, simplified. You can call it simplified data uh, for CIE 3M course. There we go. And I mean this here, this can be a little bit smaller font. There we go. Lorenz curve. 